majority paper. So I'd rather uh, <coughs> want to uh, include uh, more recent uh, results with a, with a review of uh, randomly coupled magical fiber technologies. So <coughs> the traffic network traffic is growing exponentially, and uh, to support such an exponential growth of the uh, network, a single mode fiber capacity is also uh, increasing, exponentially increasing in the research field. And however, there are such a uh, growing of the uh, single mode fiber capacity is approaching to its fundamental limit. And in such situations, space division multiplexing, especially multi-core fiber, MCF, is uh, considered as the pr promising technology to break the, such a capacity limit. So uh, multi-core fiber would be, uh, can provide great benefit if the real estate, that is space, is limited due to the technical or economical reasons. So one of the strong uh, potential application is submarine long-haul transmission system, and the other is data center application with a very high, de high, de high density and a high fiber count uh, uh, enables uh, necessarily. So multi-core fibers can be divided into two types. So one is weakly coupled multiple fiber, and uh, another is strongly coupled multiple fibers. In the weakly coupled multiple fibers, the cross between the core is well suppressed, so we can use each core as a uh, isol isolated individual single waveguide. <coughs> and so uh, we can use uh, conventional transceiver technologies. In the strongly coupled multiple fibers, the cores are more tightly packed in the uh, cross section of the uh, fiber. So in such fiber, uh, signals are mixed between the cores and uh, such a uh, mixing has to be uh, undo, undone in the uh, receiver side by a uh, multiple input, multiple, multiple output uh, digital signal processing. And uh, this strongly coupled multiple fiber can be all further divided into systematically coupled fibers and the randomly coupled fibers. The randomly coupled multiple fiber is the uh, most promising fiber for the uh, very high density, very long haul, high capacity optical fiber transmission. In this kind of fiber, propagation modes randomly coupled either in the core mode or Super mode basis. And uh, such a random coupling has to be compensated by MIMO DSP. However, in MIMO systems, such a random mode coupling is quite beneficial, which supplies more dependent impairment. So, uh, this is an uh, uh, example of a uh, uh, group delay spread, spread along the uh, uh, fiber propagation. In, and uh, in the weakly coupled uh, regime, the DGD group delay, group delay, differential group delay, delay grows with uh, linear uh, along the uh, fiber lengths. But uh, uh, in the randomly coupled regime, uh, DGD grows with a square root uh, uh, proportion to the fiber lengths. Mm -hmm. So uh, such a random, random coupling can suppress the uh, accumulation of the model dispersion, model dependent loss, and also can suppress a nonlinear in interference. By with a lower uh, model dispersion, uh, MIMO calculation complex complexity can be suppressed under a uh, lower MDL. Uh, MIMO <coughs> outage probability can be suppressed and uh, with a lower non-linear non non interference, the transmi transmission capacity can be increased. So uh, to achieve uh, such a uh, random coupling uh, characteristics, there is an uh, optimum for pitch between distance between the cores. If the cores are too tightly uh, placed, too closely placed, the uh, 
pro propagation modes in these two cores uh, becomes a very stable super mode uh, propagation. So the uh, coupling between such a super mode can be very, very weak and uh, very, uh, how can I say, the coupling between the core modes becomes systematic or deterministic. And uh, if the core cores are uh, distant, the core, core to core coupling becomes uh, very weak. And uh, uh, also in this regime, the coupling uh, is not sufficient to suppress a, a more dependent impairment. So uh, in between these uh, two regimes, there is a, a, a randomly coupled regime that can maximize the random coupling between the cores or between the super modes. And in, in such regi regime, the uh, uh, optical characteristics or transmission characteristics of the uh, coupled multiple fiber become very uh, preferable for the outer long hole transmission. <laughs> so uh, if we think about a weekly coupled multiple fiber, we can use this kind of weekly coupled multiple fiber with uh, conventional transceivers, but the uh, uh, count in one fiber is somewhat uh, limited. There is a limitation of the upper limit of four count. So if we stick, stick to the standard core uh, design or standard uh, types of the cores compatible with the uh, uh, standard uh, single mode fiber or current single mode fiber. And uh, if we mm. want to stick to the standard cladding diameter of the 125 microns, uh, the maximum core count uh, that can be liquid copper multiple fiber is four or eight. If we only use O-band, uh, four can be oh. eight cores can be packed into the fiber. But uh, if we want a more wider band, like a O to C band or C plus L band, uh, four core is the maximum in such a uh, situation. On the other side, uh, in the randomly coupled multiple fibers, four count can be more uh, scalable. So these are the, some examples of the uh, randomly coupled uh, multiple fibers. This four core fiber was present in, presented in the uh, J, JRT paper. And uh, uh, we can see three, four, seven, and 19 cores fibers. So uh, these three, four, seven core fiber has an effective area uh, more than 100 square microns. So, uh, how can I say? Uh, it's a uh, very uh, easy to uh, splice and uh, nonlinearity of the multiple fiber. Such a multiple fiber is uh, very, very uh, suppressed. Uh, in the transmission. And uh, <clears throat> uh, with the focal fiber, uh, the pub published uh, result of the transmission loss is uh, 0 0.155 dB per kilometer at uh, 1550. Uh, and uh, uh, further lower loss can be possible. Um, and uh, there is no, uh, how can I say, fundamental limit. This is uh, not a fundamental limit. The further lower loss can be uh, uh, possible. And uh, <coughs> uh, in the very recent result of the OFC in 2023 post deadline paper, the randomly coupled 19 cores fiber uh, was uh, uh, presented. And uh, with this uh, 19 core fiber, uh, uh, 1.7 petabit per second per fiber transmission was uh, demonstrated. So the uh, uh, randomly coupled multiple fiber is uh, more scalable on the core count and the, uh, how can I say, uh, very fitted to increase uh, 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 transmission capacity of the uh, multiple fiber in more higher, for more higher uh, capacity demand. So using such a, a randomly coupled four core fiber and seven core fiber, uh, Roland Reef in the Bell Labs conducted a uh, 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 transmission experiment. And uh, in this experiment, uh, we, we compared uh, with 
four core fiber and seven core fiber, and uh, also uh, compared with uh, single single core fiber, all the fiber has a similar uh, effective area. And uh, uh, as you can see, the randomly coupled core fiber has a higher uh, optimal launching power and a higher uh, Q factor after the transmission. So uh, we can see that uh, this randomly coupled core randomly coupled multi core fiber has a uh, uh, better uh, nonlinear tolerance, and uh, uh, such a no, no, nonlinear interference can be suppressed thanks to the uh, random, random coupling uh, characteristics. Also, such a randomly coupled OCOA fiber has deployed in the field uh, in the city of Italy. And uh, also, after the uh, deployment, the uh, motor dispersion was uh, very well uh, suppressed. Uh, also, using this transmission uh, deployed uh, testbed uh, transmission experiment has been conducted, and more than four more than four thousand kilometer transmission was demonstrated. Also, for the uh, about the MIMO feasibility, there there are uh, many demonstrations from various uh, research groups. And uh, for the real-time MIMO demonstration, uh, <coughs> three-core fiber and four-core fiber and seven-core fiber uh, real-time MIMO transmission uh, demos demonstrated. And uh, for the four-core fiber, more than seven thousand kilometer transmission was achieved with a real-time MIMO DSP. Also, also for the long-distance and high-capacity transmission with uh, offline processing, using a uh, four-core fiber and three-core fiber very uh, Long distance and a high capacity transmission was uh, demonstrated with uh, coupled vertical fibers. So, uh, this is summary of my talk. So, randomly coupled vertical fiber technology is promising for the next generation transmission technologies, and uh, randomly coupled MCFs can achieve simultaneously auto loss, large effective area, and a higher core count. And uh, although the random coupling requires MIMO DSP, but uh, transmission experiments have proved the feasibility of random randomly coupled MCFs in long haul transmission and deployed condition. And uh, for the further improvement, our efficient multiple amplifier will be uh, effective for capacity improvement in power limited system. And uh, with further study on the switching technologies and on architecture, the story next network networks can also be the application area. And uh, <coughs> uh, more details of the uh, this talk, more details overview of this talk with uh, additional uh, review of the fiber characterization, connectivity, cabling amplifier mm -hmm. can be found in our more recent review paper in the proceedings of the IEEE mm -hmm. uh, published in the last year. So you can find also this paper about the more details of the randomly coupled multi-core fibers. Thank you very much.